Thank you for checking out uCollect, a revolutionary way to collect data using smartphone technology that is easy and affordable. My name is Clint, and I'm the leader of uGrid's local government practice. Before I talk to you about uCollect, I want to let you know what uGrid is. uGrid is a data management firm that specializes in land and infrastructure. We use geospatial technology to share metadata with others. We are not a GIS company, although we do provide some GIS-like solutions for those smaller governments that want GIS but simply can't afford it. We're also designed to be super easy to use. If you can navigate Twitter, Facebook, Amazon, or any ordinary website, you can use uGrid. Everything we do is tied to a point on the globe called a location of interest. Why is uGrid so useful? To begin with, we relieve the customers of a lot of headaches when it comes to servers and server maintenance, and we take care of the security of those servers and the data within them. uGrid also does not require any software licensing costs, and this is a huge benefit. A lot of companies that offer mapping or data management software platforms require tens of thousands of dollars per user per year, and that is in our business model. Ours is provide a flat fee to the customer, such as a local government, and the customer can allow anyone they want to use the product. uGrid is also simple enough that it doesn't require training or certification costs. You don't need to send your special uGrid employee to a conference or spend money on training and certification because everyone in your office is a uGrid employee. It's that simple. We also use any and all reference systems such as United States Postal Service, State Plane, etc., etc. But here is the heart of uGrid's power. Since the data is on our cloud-based server, when you want to send data to another entity, like a construction company, or a government agency, or an elected official, all you do is decide what data they should have access to, and you send them a simple email with a web link to that data. We also have the ability to process credit cards. And of course, you or anyone you authorize can have access to the data in the field with a smartphone or tablet. So uGrid is very proud of its new uCollect feature. This really is groundbreaking. No other company in the world offers the ability to collect data in the field using a smartphone that is so simple it doesn't require special training and does not require tens of thousands of dollars in licensing fees. Besides answering short answer, multiple choice, and numerical questions, it can also capture photographs. The application is also smart enough to know when and where the data was entered and by whom. And the super cool part is that we use the phone's internet browser so the user does not have to go through the hassle of downloading an application from a store, which can often be problematic on government-owned devices. So to repeat, what sets uCollect apart from other similar applications is that it is simple, it is easy, and it is very affordable. Other applications are highly sophisticated and very expensive, and that limits who can use it and who can afford it. uCollect is designed to be used for asset inspection, feature collection, or field condition reporting. And here are some examples of those. You can use uCollect to identify repair needs, gather information on ADA ramps, receiving and servicing constituent requests, inspecting assets, professional condition assessments, or surveying trees for treatment, trimming, or removal. Everything we do is customized. We make uGrid and uCollect meet the needs of your community, not the other way around. The collected data is automatically beamed onto the uGrid platform where you can view it and manipulate it, or it can be automatically downloaded into your GIS system. The steps to creating a uCollect application are pretty easy. Once you have decided the asset on what you want to collect data on, such as fire hydrants, manholes, sidewalks, trees, or whatever, you follow these three simple steps. First is to design the survey contents into a table format. Basically, you need to decide what questions you want to ask about each asset. Second, if known, 
you need to identify all the existing asset locations that you want to be visited. And third is to specify the data format and entry instructions. Basically, you need to list all the possible answers and the format of those answers, such as a number, short answer, multiple choice, or a photograph. After you've followed those three steps, send this information to Ugrid. Within a matter of days, you'll receive a customized link and QR code for you to share with your data collection team, and then you can start collecting the data. So it isn't enough to just tell you what Ucollect is. We wanted to show it to you and let you use it on your own. So we're gonna give away a free tree survey app. And this is an application we actually built for a municipality that wanted help in determining which trees on their public right of way were infected with the emerald ash borer and needed treatment or removal. They plan on using high school students to collect the data. That's how simple this is. If you want to do something similar in your community, go right ahead and you can contact us later to get a download of all the data that was collected. Next is a tutorial on how to use this free application. This is the tutorial on how to use the tree survey app using the uCollect application on the uGrid platform. If you were to enter www.ugrid.com slash uCollect slash tree survey, you would come to this welcome page. Here you either sign in or sign up. Sign up is pretty easy and straightforward, so I won't explain that. So we'll sign in. Enter your email and password. My phone already knows who I am. At this stage, you may get asked for permission to use location services. If that question does come up, just hit OK, and then your phone will be flown to your current location. So we are here in our office on Wacker Drive in Chicago. Uh, and so let's survey a tree. This little leaf here indicates that tree has already been surveyed, as has that one. So let's survey this tree right here. We'll hit the plus button, and then this crosshair shows up. And this allows you to choose exactly which tree you want to survey. Let's choose that one. Then it asks for what type of tree, so you'd have to either know this or be able to determine that on your own. Let's say this is an oak tree. Next, then it asks you for the diameters of the tree. And so you can either slide this bar back and forth or do it old school just by entering the numbers and hit next. Then it asks you if the tree is diseased or if it needs maintenance or both or neither. And let's just say this tree is perfectly healthy with no maintenance needs and hit next. Then it will ask you for two photos, one close up of any damage that you want to highlight and one from far away. So you can either take a photo or use a photo from your library. Since we are here in the office, we don't have any actual trees. So before I did this tutorial, I took a few photos of other trees and uh, we're gonna use that one and then hit next and then take the second picture from far away and hit next. And then this is all the information that has been collected. Note the latitude and longitude have already been collected automatically. Same as the user and the date and the time. If everything is correct, you hit submit and then it prompts you to start a new one. And you can see this tree right here, that is the one we have already surveyed. So it's pretty easy, pretty simple, and once done, it is automatically uploaded to the UGrid platform. So thank you for taking the time to learn more about UCollect. For more information, go to our website, www.ucollect.ugrid.com, or contact me at the information provided. Thank you.